Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem of x plus y is equal to 5. xy is equal to 25. To find the values of x and y's from these two systems of equations. So let's start by letting this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Now from equation 1, which is this x plus y is equal to 5, will make y the subject so we'll take x to this side so it will be y is equal to 5 x to take to this side will be minus x then in the next step from equation 2 whereas equation 2 it is x y is equal to 25 so we we'll substitute y here this y is 5 minus x so it will be x times y we we'll substitute this so it will be bracket 5 minus x bracket is equal to this 25 then it will be x times 5 is 5 x x times negative x is negative x square is equal to 25 then in the next step we'll take this 25 to the left side so we we'll start by this negative x square then plus 5 x we we'll take 25 to this side to be minus 25 is equal to 0. Then from here, we'll, ne we'll make this negative x square positive. So we'll divide the whole equation, divide by negative 1. So negative x square divided by negative 1 is positive x square. Positive 5x divided by negative 1 is negative 5x. Negative 25 divided by negative 1 is positive 25 is equal to 0 divided by negative 1, it is 0. Then from this equation here, this quadratic equation, we'll find the values of x by using quadratic formula. So from quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 a so it will be x is equal to negative b b is quotient of x which is negative 5 so here to be negative 5 bracket plus or minus square root of b square it will be negative 5 square so here negative 5 bracket square then minus 4 times a a is quotient of x square which is 1 times c is 25 then over 2 times a it is 1 then in the next step it will be x is equal to negative and negative 5 to be positive 5 plus or minus square root of negative 5 square it is 25 negative 4 times 1 times 25 is negative 100 then over 2 times 1 it is 2 then it will be x is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 100 it is minus 75 then over this 2 then it will be x is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 75 is same as square root of 25 times 3 is 75 then for this negative here to be times negative 1 then over these two then it will be x is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 it is 5 times this square root of 3 square root of negative 1 it is i so i then over these two then it will be it will be x is equal to 5 here we'll divide by 2 in this part and in this part so it will be 5 over 2 so here 5 over 2 plus or minus 5 i square root of 3 over 2 so here 5 i square root of 3 over this 2 so from here we have two solutions whereas the first value of x is equal to when here it is positive to be 5 over 2 so 5 over 2 plus 5i square root of 3 over 2 so 5i 
square root of 3 over 2. And the second value of x is equal to, when here it is negative, it will be 5 over 2. So 5 over 2, then minus 5i square root of 3 over 2. So from here we have two solutions for the values of x. Now to find the values of y, from here, this y is equal to 5 minus x. So from y is equal to 5 minus x. This is x1. So y1, y1 is equal to 5 minus x1. x, the, we substitute this x1, which is 5 over 2 plus 5i square root of 3 over 2. So it will be y1 is equal to 5, we open the bracket by this negative, so it will be minus 5 over 2, here it will be minus 5i square root of 3 over 2. So it will be y1 is equal to 5 minus 5 over 2, it is 5 over 2, then minus 5i square root of 3 over 2. So here we got x1, the value of x1, and this is the value of y1. So for the first solution, we have x1, comma, y1 is equal to x1. x1, it is this 5 over 2 plus 5i square root of 3 over 2. So here, 5 over 2 plus 5i square root of 3 over over 2 comma y2 y1 x1 comma y1 y1 is this 5 over 2 minus 5i square root of 3 over 2 comma now this is the first solution now for the second solution from here we got this is x2 now to find y2 from this equation here of y is equal to 5 minus x so this is x2 so to get y2 is equal to 5 minus x2 it is this here so bracket 5 over 2 minus 5i square root of 3 over 2 then it will be y2 is equal to we open the bracket by this negative here so it will be 5 here it will be minus 5 over 2, minus and minus to be positive, 5i square root of 3 over 2. Then it will be y2 is equal to 5 minus 5 over 2, it is 5 over 2. Then plus 5i square root of 3 over 2. So this is the second solution. yx2 comma y2 so here it will be x2 comma y2 is equal to x2 x2 it is this 5 over 2 minus 5i square root of 3 over 2 so 5 over 2 minus 5i square root of 3 over 2 comma y2 it is this here 5 over 2 plus 5i square root of 3 over 2. So this here is the second solution. So this is our conclusion. We have two solutions for x, y. Now let's check if our answer is correct. Now to check for here, this value of x for this first solution, it is the value of y for the second solution. And here, value of y, it is the value of x from the second solution. Now, let's check for this first solution here by using the answers of x, y from this first solution. Now, from our problem, which is x plus y is equal to 5, and we have x, y is equal to 25. Now, from this first equation here, by using first solution, the answer from the first solution. So x plus y, it will be this here plus this. So this here, which is 5 over 2 plus 
5i square root of 3 over 2 then plus y y it is this here 5 over 2 minus 5i square root of 3 over 2 then from here this 5i square root of 3 over 2 minus 5i square root of 3 over 2 this and this will cancel so it will be 5 over 2 plus 5 over 2 it is equal to here the lcm of 2 and 2 here it is 2 so 2 divided by 2 is 1 1 times 5 it is 5 plus 2 divided by 2 is 1 1 times 5 it is 5 so it will be equal to here 5 plus 5 it is 10 over this 2 so 10 divided by 2 it is 5 whereas 5 it is here so it proves for the first equation by the first solution now from this second equation by using the first solution x times y is equal to 25 so from x x it is this times y it is this so it will be 5 over 2 plus 5i square root of 3 over 2 bracket times y which is 5 over 2 minus 5i square root of 3 over 2 then from here this is real plus imaginary real plus imaginary so this here is in the form of a plus b bracket times a minus b bracket whereas it is equal to a square minus b square so from by applying this from a square it will be 5 over 2 square so here 5 over 2 bracket square minus b square it will be this square so 5i square root of 3 over 2 bracket square then it will be equal to 5 square so here 5 square over 2 square then minus 5 square so 5 square then i square i square square root of 3 square square root of 3 square then over 2 square over 2 square then it will be equal to 5 square it is 25 over 2 square it is 4 minus 5 square it is 25 times i square it is negative 1 so let's put bracket here times square root of 3 square this square to cancel square so it will be times 3 then over 2 square it is 4 then it will be equal to here the lcm of 4 and 4 it is 4 so it will be over 4 4 divided by 4 it is 1 1 times 25 it is 25 then 4 divided by 4 is 1 then 1 from here minus 25 times 1 times 3 it is negative 75 now for this negative and negative to be positive so 25 plus 75 it is 100 over this 4 now 100 divided by 4 it is 25 now this 25 is same as this here so it proves for the second equation by the first by using this first solution thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye